Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall, and I have never been so happy to be so wrong. So we got our updates from Broken Realms Techlist of what we're going to be getting for new Nurgle War Scrolls, and I'm excited. I was expecting uh, something different. I was expecting more things along the lines of hosts and all of that sort of thing but instead we got three war scroll updates that make uh useless war scrolls a lot better and uh actually i think open up some new list design possibilities and in addition to that like we're making really cool models useful and are going to see play on the table whereas they were just sort of relegated to the shelf or never being purchased before that uh we also did get a new battalion in this which i am not even going to talk about other than it is complete trash everything else that nurgle has to offer is way better than that uh if you're looking for a demon battalion you run taliban or uh maybe even now nurgle's menagerie is a possibility but um, yeah, definitely not that new one. Anyway, let's get into the scrolls and talk about what we've got going on. I'm going to go in the order of least exciting to most exciting, uh, just to keep you all in suspense. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Up first, we've got the Beast of Nurgle has a new scroll. Movement 5, 5-up five save, 8 wounds. He has a 5-up Disgusting Resilience save. One of the important things to note with this that is not directly on the scroll is that they can now be taken in units of 3. So, that considerably changes some of the math that we have here. He's also been increased to 120 points from... I'm honestly not even sure what he was before, but... Uh, but cheap, but definitely a lot better now, even though it has that points increase. We still have our Acid Slime Trails ability, so when it retreats out of combat, you roll a d6. On a 4-up, it does d3 mortal wounds to an enemy within 3 inches. Uh, we also still have our Attention Seekers ability that lets us retreat and charge in the same turn. But now we also have Pestilent Battering Rams. So you roll a die for each enemy unit within one inch of the model when it completes a charge. On a two up, the unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. If the unit has more than one model, roll to determine the mortal wounds that are inflicted after each model finishes its charge move, but do not allocate the mortal wounds until after all of the models in the unit have finished their charge moves. Um, so, basically, what this unit now does is charge in, do a bunch of mortal wounds when it charges in, retreat in the next turn, do a bunch of mortal wounds on the retreat and then charge back in and do mortal wounds again. Now this works really nicely with the fluff of beasts of Nurgle. They are really sort of this, like they're supposed to be like puppies, right? They're supposed to be happy and jolly and prancing around. And the, the combination of these three abilities, what does that look like? It looks like a puppy, jumping on you and is so enthusiastic that it hurts you and then it jumps off runs around in a circle and then pounces on you again and wash rinse repeat that is just awesome for similitude i really love that they made this feel like it is in the fluff um these guys are big disgusting puppies and they play like big disgusting puppies their melee profile also greatly improved and my own puppy is now uh you know joining us in the conversation but you know the attack profile also got considerably improved so there is uh some actual value to their offense now all right so moving on let's take a look at spoil pox scrivener 
So most of what this guy has uh, in terms of his main profile looks exactly the same. He's got five wounds, five up save, movement four. Uh, I think the same uh, melee and missile profile that he previously had. He's still disgustingly resilient with that five up uh, save to ignore wounds and mortal wounds. But now we have this new set of abilities. Keep counting, I'm watching you. So all of these things, they uh, affect your Plague Bearer units. So specifically, that is your Plague Bearers, also your Plague Drones. It is your other Heralds, and it is also your Horticulus Slimux. Not that you're necessarily going to be using these on all of those, but uh, in particular, I think of note here is using them on Plague Bearers and on uh, your Plague Drones. So what you do, you get to pick one unit uh, wholly within 14 inches of the model uh, during the combat phase. So this only lasts for the combat phase and can be reselected during each combat phase. So that includes during your opponent's combat phase. Uh, you pick one of the following counts to carry out, and the effect lasts until the end of the phase. Uh, if you have multiple spoil pox scriveners, they cannot carry out more than one count per phase uh, on the same unit. So you can't stack these abilities. Um, and not only can you not stack an individual one, you can't stack like different ones together from a spoil pox scrivener. So, up first we have Tally of Blows. Uh, we add one to the attack's characteristic of melee weapons used by a unit carrying out this count. Holy crap, is that huge! That is going to double the damage output of your Plague Bearers. It's going to significantly increase the damage output of your Plague Drones. It is just really fantastic. I think this is the sort of ability that demons really needed to become more competitive. That's also going to stack with your command ability from your great unclean one that adds one to the attack profile. Uh, really good in general. Uh, studied lacerations. You improve the Ren characteristic of melee weapons uh, used by that unit uh, by one. Adding an extra rend, always really good, although I think adding extra attacks is usually going to be the thing you're going to go with if you're going with an offensive option. Uh, and then recorded stamina, add one to save rolls for attacks uh, that target the unit carrying out this count. So this brings your plague bearers and your plague drones to a four up save and then their five up disgusting resilience which is incredibly powerful. That makes already sticky units even more defensive. It's really good. The only real drawback here is that your Spoilpox Scrivener needs to be within 14 inches of that unit during the combat phase. So these guys have to follow up really close behind. This is not a hero phase activation, so you can't activate these guys and have the unit run away with your uh, Scrivener somewhere in the backfield. He's going to keep pace reasonably with everything else in order to keep these buffs going. All right, so I think that is everything on Spoilpox Scrivener. He is miles better than he used to be. Uh, he's up to 140 points now, but I think he is worth every point in there with all of these abilities. But the real gem in the bunch is Sloppity Bile Piper. So we have same basic profile, four inch move, five up save, five wounds, disgusting resilience, uh, has an okay attack profile, nothing really super exciting, fairly standard hero stuff. Um, he has the Disease of Mirth, so he adds one to the bravery characteristic of friendly Nurgle demons while they're wholly within 14 inches of him. And then he has the Jolly Gut Pipes. So this is similar to the tallies that you have from Spoilpox Scrivener. Same general rules. You pick one unit and 
uh, the effect lasts uh, until the end of the combat phase. You can't be affected by uh, two or more of the same things. Now, this is interesting. Oh, there it is. Uh, units that are wholly within uh, 14 inches are affected by the tune. This is just worded a little bit differently than uh, the other one. So they're both uh, wholly within 14 inches during the combat phase for activation. The, the names on this are absolutely fantastic, and I cannot wait to use them in a game. The important thing to note here is that although Spoilpox Scrivener is specific to Plague Bearers, this guy affects all Nurgle demons. So that affects all of the things that you ordinarily think of as demons, and it also catches your Harbinger of Decay, it har gets your Puscoil Blight Lords, your Lord of Afflictions, uh, a nurgle marked chaos lord on demonic mount uh i'm sure i'm missing something somewhere in there but you know we also get these incidental buffs coming out here for other things that happen to be nurgle demons as we see as we work through this there's actually some interesting utility to that so our first ability is a stabbing we will go add one to the attacks characteristic melee weapons used by friendly nurgle demons wholly within 14 inches of any sloppity bile piper playing this tune um this is also slightly different from the spoilpox scrivener that this isn't targeting one specific model this is all units wholly within 14 inches of him uh, so that's a lot more powerful. It's not necessarily going to always just be more than one unit, but, you know, it's more of the, like a, a static bubble that this creates. And definitely worth noting here that Sloppity Bile Piper and Spoilpox Scrivener both have these plus one attack abilities. And although you can't use more than one Sloppity Bile Piper and stack it up, you can use a Spoilpox Scrivener and a Sloppity Bile Piper to get two extra attacks. And then a third extra attack from your Great Unclean One. Do you see where we're going here with Nurgle Demon List building? Lots of buff stacking. All right, our next ability is absolutely fantastic. Early one evening, my pustule was seeping. An unmodified hit roll for attacks made by friendly Nurgle demons wholly within 14 inches of any friendly sloppity bile pipers. Playing this tune is a six. That attack inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to any normal damage. So this is basically blades of putrefaction without having to cast a spell it only affects nurgle demons but who cares this is really good <laughs> this is just plain good um you can do a lot of damage with this again stacking with abilities from spoilpox scrivener and your great unclean one uh suddenly everything is on plus two attacks so let's say you've got 10 plague bearers that are throwing attacks that are buffed up. So that's 30 attacks. That's going to be five mortal wounds, which then you uh, do in addition to your normal damage. Like that is just so good. All right. And then finally, my love is like a ripe, ripe fart. This is absolutely my favorite name of any ability in the history of Age of Sigmar. This is so fantastic. I cannot wait to fart on my enemies. Uh, so enemy models within three inches of friendly Nurgle demon units that are wholly within 14 inches of floppy bile pipers playing this tune cannot finish pile in moves closer to a model from that unit than they were at the start of the move. So it's not that they can't pile in. It's just that they can't pile in Ward a unit that has farted. That is really strong. In many cases, it effectively makes it so that that unit can't pile in at all. So really, what does this do for us? It really, with those incidental demon heroes, um, this becomes very powerful. 
because you can just go take your Lord of Afflictions, tag the corner of a unit, fart on them, and now they're taken out of commission, can't be piled in, and uh, your Lord of Afflictions is nice and safe. Same with your Harbinger of Decay. So it adds a lot of utility there. And a 14-inch bubble is pretty big on the battlefield. I could definitely see people playing with multiple, multiple Sloppity Bile Pipers. They're real good. I love it. This is like an A plus on rewriting a scroll and creating rules for a model that feel like they go with the model. It's awesome rules on an awesome model. I'm saying the same sorts of things over and over again, but this is absolutely amazing. I think this is going to open up a lot of possibilities for new list building. I think it's going to take the tally band into a new uh, realm of competitiveness it's going to be absolutely fantastic for Thricefold Befoulement. Um, I think Nurgle really got a big step up with this. Now, this does nothing for the Blight King spam lists, but those don't need help. It was the rest of the Nurgle faction that really needed help, and that's what we got with these three new War Scrolls. I'm really happy about it. I love this. I'm sure I'll be doing more videos in the near future about list building with these guys. But man, am I excited. Uh, time to run out and buy more Sloppity Bio Pipers and uh, Spoil Pox Scriveners because they're awesome. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. All are greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching as always, and I will talk to you all later.